Hey, I'm Antoine and welcome to another video on the channel and today we have this iPad 3 generation model A18 22 Wi-Fi version came for iCloud remove or to be more specific iCloud bypass uh, so the reason why I say is iCloud bypass is because even if you change the serial number after a while you want to restore it and you put it on uh, your iCloud account it's still there's a very big chance that it will be locked automatically on another Chinese account because you can find all the serial numbers buyers from China. Uh, so I'm going to show you that this iPad zero activation lock. Of course, as I said, we're going to change the serial number. Uh, so for this one, uh, you're required to have the DCSD cable, uh, a Mac and a Windows, which is optional. Now the DCSD cable for reading the system configuration uh, the Mac is to enter the purple mode using the purple application or purple pro and the Windows is optional to change to change the serial number using the WL software or GC program you can also change it by um, from the purple pro program but I'm going to use the Windows today just to be more universal and of course we are going to use the purple mode today it was so easy when they were listed to unbundle the Wi-Fi and change the system configuration and more uh, so today we're going to make, uh, not make a hardware uh, video, but it's a software video. I required a couple of stuff that you can buy by your own and it's very easy to do it. So let's begin the bypass process. So the first step is going to be to connect the iPad to my Mac and enter the purple mode. Of course, uh, you can see everything on the screen that uh, what I'm doing. I've connected the iPad to my Mac. Now let's just remove the DCSD cable or in this case, I'm using the GC box. It's the same, don't worry, you can buy the DCSD cable also. And um, also about the uh, purple application, um, all the links will be left in the description down below, so don't worry. Uh, so of course, now I'm going to speed forward the process and then we're going to connect the DCSD cable to change the serial number. So we are in the purple mode, you can connect the DCSD cable or the GC box and change the system configuration using the purple pro. Uh, but again, I'm doing this using my Windows uh, computer to show you on both platforms how to do it. So here we are on Windows and I'm using the WL software. Uh, of course, I will, not put, I will not put a link for this uh, program description down below because you can see in the upper left corner there is a website so you can go to it and download the WL software and of course you can use also the GC software but anyhow I'm going to um, stick with the WL and let me uh, connect the GC box which is the same as the DCSD cable and now we're going to change the serial number and the Wi-Fi uh, Wi MAC address and the Bluetooth MAC address so let me just Check my connection, just connect, connect, and press secure. And as you can see, all these system configuration that are on the NAND, uh, we can now change it using the purple mode and of course the GC box, which is the same as the DCSD cable. Uh, of course, if you have an LTE model, uh, that's another story. And uh, if you have a, a new iPad with LTE, uh, iCloud logs, I will try to do a video in the near future but uh, so far uh, you have to change the serial number i guess uh, there's a lot of um, you will ask me where can i find or buy those new serial numbers uh, well uh, actually i can say you one word or actually two which is um, china baby i guess the fast way is to um, buy or get the serial number is alex brass uh, so you have um, now the serial number and the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth, uh, which this is why what you have to change to in order to get a new serial number and get a new iPad without iCloud activation. Okay, now let's go and change them and write the new ones and then we are going to restore the device. I will speed the whole process and uh, I will catch you in the activation screen.
So we have restored the iPad and now let's go and activate it. Uh, activate the iPad. And also, by the way, there's a lot of people having an issue with this method or the hardware method on the iPad Air 2. So definitely must check it out. And uh, now uh, I'm going to speed forward all the process and I'll catch you on the home screen. And then we are going to test everything, uh, including the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So you can see everything looks okay. We bypass it without opening the iPad, of course. That will save a lot of work and a lot of time. And now you can easily do it if you have the right tools. And of course, also don't forget uh, to put your iCloud immediately. So the new serial number will close on your iCloud account. Okay, I'm checking everything. The Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, everything looks okay. Let's go and check the camera and see if the iPad is rotating. I guess everything looks okay. Yep, everything looks fine. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I'll catch you guys in another repaired video. Peace out.